Hi, I'm Kaylin. And I'm Joseph. And we have been traveling full time in our RV, welcome to our home, for the past three years. That's crazy. I can't believe it's been three years already. What has been even more crazy though is we've been married 15 years. Wow. <laughs> And we just celebrated our 15th anniversary, and so we want to do something a little bit different. Normally we do the travel videos and the adventure videos and RVing videos. Today we kind of wanted to break the mold and do more of a like get to know us type video. So you can kind of know like who we are before we were RVing. Yeah, exactly. A little bit. But we've got 15 questions in honor of the 15 years. Most of them are funny. Some of them are sweet, but mostly funny. And we're going to read them, and then we're going to text our answers to each other. We'll pop them up on the screen there as well. Yeah. And uh, you'll get to know us, and we'll get to have a good time. Yeah, we have to text, like, at the same time, and then... Doop. Ding! <laughs> so... You ready for the first one? I guess so. Okay, let's, let's, let's do go. it. Question numero uno. Okay. What is a surefire way to get on your spouse's nerves? So how how I've I've already got my answer. What is surefire this? way for me to get on your nerves? Yep. And what's the surefire way that I can get on your nerves? There's actually plenty of answers for this one. I've got like 600 I could put, but <laughs> okay, I've got mine. Okay, I'm sending. Send. <laughs> <laughs> that is <laughs> that is true. So I hate when the microwave keeps going off. Like you're allowed one beep for it yes, being it, it done. Yes, it when it's done, it beep beep yeah. beep, and you're But then, you're happy. like thirty seconds later, it beeps again, <laughs> and that's too much. And if it goes off a third time, I'm Heads sleeping on the couch. Gonna roll. <laughs> and I have asked if you're okay ninety eight times, which is one hundred percent true. If you ask me if I'm okay, and I say yes. Let that be it. <laughs> sometimes, like, you have, I feel like you have to pull it out of the person. Like, I don't know that you're really okay. You're acting a little funny. I think we answered that one correct. Okay. What is something your spouse eats that you think is gross? Okay. I know what you're, you, you, you've got something already. I think I'm going to have to insert some, like, Jeopardy music here, as I think. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's good. You go first. That's good. So I don't think it's gross, but I if I have the choice between water and anything with flavor, I'm almost always going to pick the anything with flavor because water's just bland. I just love water, though. Yeah. Like it's, you, it is rare for me to get a lemonade. Correct. Although I did in our Death Valley video. We you did just, splurge on a but lemonade. But you go anywhere and just get water. Yeah, and it's I like just water. Like, yeah healthier for you unlike mcdonald's fries <laughs> which i think you're just like <laughs> that's my go-to junk food they're just like limpy potatoes <laughs> i think as opposed to wendy's fries <sighs> which are so much better yeah mcdonald's are the best and you'd think having worked there for several years i wouldn't think that but yeah I if know. i can get fresh mcdonald's fries straight out of the vat what grooming product can your spouse not live without. Okay. You have to tilt it away from me so I don't see it. <laughs> you ready? Yep. Oh, well, that's an interesting choice. Hairbrush. Yeah, you can't live without a hairbrush. I think I'd rather have tweezers. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Like, I could always try to comb through my hair with my fingers. So, <laughs> so this is an interesting one for because I totally disagree with this. I can totally live without those. I don't know because whenever we're like driving somewhere and you're like, you have nail clippers in your purse, you have nail clippers. Like you ask me all the time. I if do, I have but if you don't, I I'm just asking because otherwise I'm going to rip them. All yeah. right, let's stop talking about nails. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, what is the biggest way your spouse wastes money? <laughs> mm. <laughs> this is easy. <laughs> is it going to be McDonald's fries again? <laughs> You're going to take umbrage with the use of waste. Okay, I don't do this really that much anymore. <laughs> You've been much better. But there was a period of time where someone would promote a new course for blogging or business or, or photography or something and I would have to buy it because it was ser I, FOMO. And you I had, had to get it. And at the time you had a lot of courses on your computer that were on. Oh, I still do. Yeah. I still but do. But you, you are much I have better. been better. 
And yes, gas station drinks. Yeah. I, I'm better, but not... You go in ways. Yes. You, like, do yes. really well. Like, but otherwise, it's like, stop at a gas station, buy a Gatorade, buy a Powerade, <laughs> you know? Again, I don't enjoy For water. For some reason, those receipts don't end up in the receipt No, jar. they never do. And you're like, and what's then I'm this like, $2 what's... purchase? Yeah, like, what? <laughs> it's true. What are we at, number five? Yep. If your spouse could change anything about themselves, what would it be? Hmm. Okay, this one's easy, too. I felt a bunny going by. Um, I, I just, I'm working on how to word this. I wonder if we're going to have the same answer. Ready? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that never changes color. <laughs> As in it doesn't gray. I was just trying to be, I was trying to figure out a nice way I think around we're, it. I think we're both self-conscious about gray hair. Although I feel like it's more acceptable for me to color mine. Yeah, well, and, and like you've said, I've gotten to the point now where if I colored my hair, people would... It would be a significant, like, noticed. whoa. Right. And the products that are designed to, like, slowly color your hair, when you read the reviews, everybody's hair falls out. So that's a no -go. Yeah, no. I'd rather you have gray hair <laughs> than be bald. What is something that makes your spouse cry? <laughs> this one's easy, too. You have fun with this one. I like these questions. Who came up with them? We're both going to be in the same vein, though. Ready? Ready? <laughs> both movies. <laughs> both of these are true. I knew I knew yours was going to be movies. Yeah, it's true. Like I and it's not just sports movies, but sports movies are the ones that frustrate me the most. Like if I get choked up at a sports movie, I'm like, "Why am I getting because, choked up at this?" Because and the reason why I put underdog is true. because it's a like it's a sports team that has never won anything and then suddenly they win a championship. Especially if there's like a true story element behind like it. Like miracle. Yeah, if it, if it's a true story behind it, like yeah, that'll get me. Yeah. But you See, <laughs> like you can watch Hacksaw Ridge with human beings getting shot, killed, maimed, nothing. I don't care. 1917, you could watch that movie from but start. But a horse never... gets blown up and I'm gone. A, a horse gets a hangnail and you're like, oh, the poor horse. <laughs> what emoji best represents your spouse? Hmm. Let me go to my emoji keyboard. I know. This one's interesting. I should have thought about this one ahead of time. Okay, I've got mine. I don't have it yet. If you send me the skunk. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna do that one because I don't want to talk about it. Um, that one doesn't really apply anymore. Okay, I've got it. Okay, ready? Yep. Sending. Oh, I like that one. A tiger? Yeah, a tiger. So, I'm really confused. So first of all, you have a focus time that you call tiger your tiger time. time. And I see you because you call it your tiger time because it's your super focus. Which is not my term. It's Amy Porterfield's term. But going off of that, you are an individual that when you are focused on something, you go oh, after go it and after you get it. it done. So I'm okay. kind of going after the... Yeah. I guess I should feel honored. So headphones is... Yeah, so I, I chose the headphones because I was thinking more you're always listening to a podcast yep. or an audiobook, and like if I start talking to you, you're like, what? I pull the earbud down. You do. You're pretty good about that, but... Put it down. You usually have something in your ear that you're listening to. It's true. Okay, next one. What is something your spouse owns that you want to get rid of? It's know? funny because when we proposed this question, I had something and now I can't think of what it is. I've got one. Okay. I need to go find it. Find what you want me to? Yeah. <laughs> you gonna bring it? Ready? Nope. Get set. Ready. I knew that was <laughs> <laughs> And the thing is, I don't hate the shirt in general. I just hate that you wear it outside of December because it's a Christmas shirt. You were wearing winter flannel pants to bed the other day. Because it was cold. That had a winter pattern on it. Because them. it was cold. <laughs> so this one isn't completely fair. We don't have a lot of decor no. in the RV, but there are times when I open a cabinet and see random candles and stuff that like <laughs> never, never see the light of day and never use. 
that it's like, why are we hauling these around? Pull I out. could definitely go through those candles though and yeah. get rid of them. I think it's your turn. It is, we're on number nine. Who would you cast to play your spouse in a movie? So I had one originally and then I changed it. Okay, you ready? Yep. Oh, I like that one. Okay, so the reason He's a why... little old, though. <laughs> okay, that's not why. But when I'm thinking of the types of characters he plays, he's usually, like, really corny and funny. It's fair. But then he has this, like, really soft heart. That's... It's yeah, really fair. Yeah, so I feel like it's, it's a perfect match. Yep. Blake Lively, I would love to be her. She is, like, so sophisticated, I would think. But I think she should be the one to play you, not you be her, like... Yeah. Okay. It's your turn. How many cousins does your spouse have? <laughs> quick, you can't count. <laughs> yeah, let's just do a quick guess. Uh, all right, ready? Yep. Go. Let's guess. Oh, I think you're right. Oh! I think you're right. So you basically... Yes, you were right. I have, I have two. So I have four on one side, and then three at seven, three, ten... And then two, yeah, 12. Hey, oh, good job. Wow. Were you thinking about that before? No, I was not. <laughs> okay. I, just, I just picked a number. Oh, it's your turn. Picked a high number. When did you know they were the one? Mm. You're writing a lot over there. Yeah, this is the type of text that if I was sending normally, I'd send it three in three yeah, different parts. Yeah, that is parts. quite annoying. Ready? Here we yep. go. You didn't know before then? That you were the one? Yeah. No. Like, it was that moment that I knew, like, I'm going to marry this girl. Okay. It wasn't the moment of the kiss. It was actually the the ride home. So the snowball day. fight was just the, it was I a, like I, you. I like her. I'm, I'm attracted to her. But there was not the moment of absolute, I'm going to marry this girl until that day. Well, for me... <laughs> I knew I was going to marry him when I was 11 years old. <laughs> so his family, his dad is a retired pastor and he was candidating, not retired, at our church. And so they came to visit our school's play, which I was in. I was 15, yeah, 14. It wouldn't have worked. But, <laughs> but eventually, eventually he was like, oh, around. you exist. <laughs> But I knew right then and there. I've got journals filled with your name. Yeah. I've never seen them. Next question. If your spouse won $5,000, I upped it from $1,000. Okay. $5,000, what physical store would they spend it in? So no Amazon. Nope. This one's easy. Because I feel like there's a lot of stuff you could get here that's expensive. <laughs> I could get one thing. <laughs> I wish I could just save the mall. But then, do they even There's exist? There's like nothing in the mall Yeah, anymore. that's true. But I feel like this one's a cop-out. If it has a bullseye, oh. I wouldn't mind that. Okay, that's what I was going to That's, that's what, what I, I was wondered gonna if you were going to put. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the hint. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I don't know. I could find so much stuff at Target. Okay. I yeah. was just like, because the other end I was going on was like, am I? should I be picking one of the clothes stores that you like? But then I got to thinking, you're not, like, brand loyal. Right. Like, sometimes you like Kohl's. Sometimes you hate Kohl's. Sometimes you... So I was just like... Sorry, I could buy makeup, clothes. Yeah. Best Buy How... for you. I Because they have a drone. Yep, they'd have a drone. They'd have video equipment. Yeah. Computer equipment. There's a whole bunch of... You, you blow through $5,000. I'd, I'd be through the 5000 <laughs> in five minutes. What is your spouse's silliest fear? We've talked about this before, like way before this question. There's no emoji for this? That's annoying. There should be an emoji for this. That's odd. Then maybe you're not doing what I thought nope. you might do. I am, but there's no emoji. You ready? Yep. No, that's not what I was thinking, actually. <laughs> yes, that is so true. <laughs> that is your, like, number one it, fear. It is. And I don't know. I think it. I had it before True Pine crime podcast became a thing too but yeah like yeah. i that is like being in court and going through a trial for something that i didn't do is like so i would if we're hiking and we come across a dead body like we need to get out of there it. 
<laughs> we will not call the police. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So, okay, yes. Yeah, so I, I I do hate nutcrackers. It's, it's a stupid fear. But I didn't think that's what you would put. It's not stupid. It's a stupid. It's legit. So we were, from <laughs> we were in a gas station the other day and they had like a life-size nutcracker. <laughs> and so I just stood near it because I wanted to watch and she came around the edge and legit, when she came around the corner, <laughs> jumped and I'm like, you I didn't even like do anything. Them. I was considering like leaning it out and like going, Arr. But anyway, I thought he was going to say that my teeth are going to fall out. Oh, that's... that is a recurring dream see, I have. <laughs> I don't see that as a silly fear. That's okay. a legit, like, a legit that would... fear. This is 14. I know. What word best describes your spouse's driving? Ooh, I've been waiting for this one. <laughs> Actually, it's two words, but they're usually put together. Okay, ready? Rumble strips. <laughs> also accurate. Yeah, I don't. I would drive more if we didn't have that big truck. Yeah. I just. Do, I do not like parking it. I do not like driving it. And I don't mind. It's not like I'm like. Oh, I no. wish she would drive but more. Yeah, but yeah, it's like rumble strips, man. The center rumble strips are the worst because I'm the type of person that if nobody's coming the other way. <laughs> I have the road, and I'm, no, I'm not going to be all the way over, but I don't care if I'm hitting the yellow line, but if the rumble strips are there, they care. All right, number 15. Last one. Our last one. What word best describes your spouse in the morning? See, you have a couple different... I know. A couple different trails I could take with uh -huh. this. Uh-huh. Oh, I know. Here we go. It's, it's word. Darn it. So I have to come up with one word. We can't do a phrase. <laughs> I've got, I've got what I've got. Here we go. I've got it. Okay, you. I've got it. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm that alert. I'm more alert than you, but I'm not like, oh, 5 a.m., woohoo. So maybe I should have said awake, but like the, the trend with you is you wake up around the time of the alarm. Generally. And I can't get back to sleep. And this is more especially on weekends. Like when you wake up on a weekend, you can't go back to sleep. Yeah, and when like, I wake up on a weekend... I can sleep in and now I can't. Yeah, when I wake up on a weekend, I can be like, oh, sweet, it's 7 o'clock, I'm going back to sleep. And Kaylin's over there like, I'm ready for breakfast whenever you are. <laughs> uh, so the snooze, like... That's a, that's I, I wanted to use a phrase because it's always like, can I have 10 more, 10 minutes? more minutes? Can I have 15 more minutes? Can I have... <laughs> well, this was fun. It was. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was entertaining <laughs> and not like, oop, off. Although you wouldn't be watching you would it be if watching. you already turned yes. it off. If you made it this far in the video and you like the idea of traveling and stuff like that, could you like this video and maybe subscribe and hit the bell icon and get notified of when we put out more content? There's not going to be much more content like this though. Maybe when we hit year 30, we'll do this again. We'll do. <laughs> wow. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us and hopefully we'll see you on the open road. Bye. I, I threw you off. Yeah. <laughs>